So, one of the videos I plan to do on this trip was called How to Avoid Leaving Things at Home When You Pack to Go Camping. And that is a really ironic title because, well, <laughs> My son is trying very hard not to laugh in a way that uh, you can hear, but he's laughing. Let's just say I forgot some very important things this trip, but there's a reason for that. If you were to ask a bunch of people, how do you avoid leaving things at home? you know, forgetting things when you go on a road trip, and they would say, make a list. The problem I have with lists is that every road trip is different. Like, depending on where we're going, depending what the season is, you need different things. Um, when I go out uh, over spring break, which for us is the last week of March, I need to bring chains with me, right? I don't need to bring chains at this time of year. So, for me, a list is not the best thing. Not one that's a perpetual list. And if you make a list every time, you will tend to forget things. What I have is I have a system. And the reason that I forgot a bunch of things this time is that this is a very unusual road trip in some ways. And so my system went out the window. So the first part of my system is that I have these pre-packed camping totes. It used to be a long time ago that every time I went camping, I'd have to pack plates, pans, uh, silverware, whatever, and I never remembered it all. So over the years, I have been gradually acquiring camping stuff. Some of this I got at Goodwill, some of this I got at the dollar store, and because I started these camping totes back when I was in grad school and I was making $23,000 a year. But over the years, I have gradually replaced it. In fact, we're just this time debuting my, you know, actual Coleman cooking set <laughs> instead of the El Cheapo Goodwill uh, pots that I had before. I'm super excited about that. Every time I go out, I realize, hey, I'm missing this or that thing. Um, I will buy it and put it in the tote, and then it's there for next time. So I will show you the totes right now. So this is my first tote, actually labeled number one so I can tell them apart without opening them. And this is what I call my dishes tote, because surprise, it has dishes inside. So you can see I have my uh, Coleman uh, porcelain coated steel cups and actually the whole uh, bowls. There's plates down on the bottom which I'm not going to take out. Now originally those were just stuff from the dollar store and I just replaced them last year I got an REI gift card and that's what I used it for. Um, I got a mixing bowl so I can mix up pancakes. Um, kitchen shears because they're super handy. These are unfortunately the dollar store kitchen shears because I couldn't afford anything more at the time. Um, I have this whole Rubbermaid tote inside to keep things orderly because the stuff gets all over the place. Um, silverware, a cat opener, um, there's various um, cooking tools, all right. tongs, super useful. Um, another bag with silverware in it, and as you can see, the silverware kind of gets muddled up. I try to keep it all in the bags, but it doesn't always work out that way. I've got uh, measuring cups, again, so I can make pancakes, um, or whatever we're trying to make. Uh, measuring spoons, all of those from the dollar store. I've got a knife. Now, notice the handy-dandy homemade sheath. I just made this out of an Amazon box and um, packing tape. So now we have cutting boards. Again, I got the set of four from the dollar store. Knives. I used to have really crappy Goodwill knives in here, but I decided I was tired of cutting with two dull knives. 
and so here's our bread knife. Um, I actually bought that one. This, you might say, ooh, we're having a J. Henkel's chef's knife. Well, see, you can see it's broken because I got this one like 12 or 13 years ago, and I just replaced it. So the old broken one goes in my camping gear. That's generally the way things work. Let's see, we've got our little, just got these REI um, little spice things because we don't like bland food. Um, old salt and pepper. Uh, that we got before the REI spice stuff. We have this extendable toasting forks for toasting hot dogs or whatever over the fire. Um, better yet, uh, Starburst. If you've never toasted Starburst over the fire, you should try it because it's amazing. I always keep plastic forks and spoons in the tote because a lot of times we'll eat something on the road and I don't want to bother with washing up. Um, a lot of times we'll have paper bowls. I don't know what happened to our paper bowls. We usually have paper bowls as well, and then here are the, here are the bowls at the bottom. Here is tote two. And this is my, I used to call it my cooking the dishes tote, and it's pretty miscellaneous. So it's a lot of small stuff that doesn't fit in the dishes tote, and doesn't really so the first thing I have is I have TP because as you know I do a lot of dispersed camping and there's not always an actual bathroom. Um, these are spices which we picked up on a road trip before I got my REI spice thing. Um, I'm probably going to just rotate those into my normal kitchen spices. Here is a trowel that goes along with the TP for dispersed camping. I have to do number two. All right. We've got a couple of uh, lighters and matches, fire starters. This Eltoids tin actually has um, waterproof matches. We have propane cylinder. I need to replace this. Uh, we just used up a propane cylinder. So I usually have two propane cylinders in there. One that I'm using and then the extra. And then we have the little propane top stove. And this stove is really annoying because I feel like it has two levels um, off or super high heavy duty burn everything and I'm looking for a better stove someday I'll get it if you have any recommendations drop those down below oh look I mentioned with the previous totes I normally have paper bowls here are the paper bowls they somehow got put in here and then I have my two uh, red dish totes so we wash, one of these is for the wash water, one of these is for the rinse water. We've got uh, foam olive, dish soap, um, hammer. I always forget a hammer and when it comes to time to put tent stakes in, we often found ourselves like using a rock or something until I started putting hammer in my totes. Hatchet for firewood. And I almost forgot I had to grab this out of the laundry basket. The other thing that goes in here is our dish towels and our washcloths for the, the cleaning. So that is tote two. This is tote three, which is my miscellaneous big stuff tote. Um, this tote did not exist until recently. Um, so originally the cookware was in the stove tote, which is tote two. Um, but I got this new Coleman cook set and I can't fit that and the stove in, in tote too. So this is here. You can see it's one of these nesting things. And this is the family size. I want to get a smaller size when I go out solo. But when I'm camping with my boys, I find that I need some fairly sizable pots. And then the other thing we have is the Road Pro stove, which I just got again with uh, last Christmas's gift certificate. We tried that out this trip and I've got a review video coming up. So the second part of my system is just the way I store things. I tend to store everything in the same physical location so that when I go out in the garage and I'm getting camping stuff, it's all right there. So the one thing I used to always forget was my little uh, folding table. And so the solution to that was just stick it right next to all the other camping stuff and then I remember to bring it. Um, we sometimes have trouble uh, bringing the chairs 
that's mostly because we actually use the chairs for things other than camping so they get uh, carried around and we often have them on the back patio or whatever but we did good with that so the third part of my system then is that I gather all the stuff in one spot and then I move it all out to the car at the same time and that's advantageous in that I can see before I start loading anything I can see you know what needs to go in first and whatever in terms of what needs to be accessed easily or whatever. This time is weird. Um, first of all I'm not going by myself. Uh, I'm going with my son and so he was bringing things out as I was um, pulling them out. Uh, off of the shelf we also um, now have housemates and they were talking to me as I was loading stuff into the car and so there were a lot of um, pauses where I was not really on task with what I was doing um, and as a result um, two things happened this time um, first of all uh, I brought all of my stuff my personal stuff out to the living room and I set it in a place where all the stuff that was going in the car was gonna go um, and my housemates got talking to me after I had brought out some of the stuff but not all of the stuff to the car and I left one bag behind and that happened to be the bag with my clothes and toiletries in it. So we had to make an emergency stop at Walmart and I got clothes and it was very frustrating because I have very high standards for what I actually buy for camping clothes because a lot of times these road trips I'm actually doing scientific field work so it has to be stuff that is, for example, quick dry because I do a lot of water sampling. And yeah, that's not what they have at Walmart. <laughs> um, also, it is beginning of September. They have all their stuff on clearance right now, the summer stuff. And we're going to Death Valley. I don't want to wear long sleeve clothes in Death Valley. So, I had to look on the clearance rack basically to get short sleeve shirts and hate to say this but my size is the size that sells out so all they had left was like size four to six and six to eight and stuff like that which uh, honestly I don't remember when I fit a size four to six it must have been when I was like 11 or 12 <laughs> and six to eight I have not it since I got married and having started having kids almost 30 years ago. I made the best of what I could do. And it's all cotton. And ugh. Obviously that was not great. The other thing that I forgot is sleeping bags. <laughs> I was a little cold last night and cotton, honestly wearing cotton does not help with that. <laughs> and so the thing is my son got the sleeping bags out and I thought he put them in the car and he thought I put them in the car even though he got them out. Normally I do all the packing and that's my system um, getting blown to bits. Anyway, that's the lovely story of what I forgot and the problem is not sticking to my system and I think in the future and what I'm going to do to avoid this, if I have someone coming with me, which is becoming less and less common and now that my youngest is oh shock 19 if i have someone packing with me i'm not going to have them put anything in the car i'm going to have them put everything in the driveway so i can see what goes in and what doesn't because normally well let me show you the segment i filmed right before i uh, realized that i left my clothes back at home so on our first stop i went to target and I bought, there's my mask, I bought two things. I bought paper towels and I bought a pack of cards. Now, why is that important? Well, this video is about how to keep yourself from forgetting stuff when you go on a road trip. These are the two things that I forgot. Haha, uh -huh. joke's on me. So I've decided something based on my discovery here at Virgin Valley Campground, which is that I really can't be without a bathing towel at any time. And if 
you want to see me talk about the campground, go and look at my day seven video, which may or may not be out yet. So I've decided I'm going to add a fourth camping tent, or maybe it's going to be in a duffel bag, I don't know. And that's going to have extra clothes and a towel and a swimsuit. <laughs> um, the reason I haven't done this before is because when you bring stuff home, it's going to have to be washed and then you have to remember to put it back in the camping totes. But I already do that with my dish towels and stuff, so you know, I don't see why I couldn't do it with clothing. So uh, it breaks my heart that I'm not able to take advantage of facilities, a little bathing pool here, and hot showers. So. Like I said, that's what I get for um, not sticking to my system. Oh, and to make it worse, something I didn't mention before. Um, I was literally in a meeting until like 20 minutes until we left. Um, meeting via Zoom, of course, as one does nowadays. But I was basically like, uh, you know, I can straight from home even though I've got a meeting. And, uh, didn't give me time to think about what still needed to go in the car or to double check anything or whatever. It was a mistake, so I usually give myself at least five hours before I leave to pack, and I clearly need to stick to that rule. My whole system broke down the strip, and it has been a relatively good trip despite the disastrous nature of leaving everything behind but it's also been a little more expensive than I expected. Um, we've spent about a hundred and fifty dollars on things that got left behind which you know I have in my vacation budget and I'm not gonna complain too much because it's, you know, it's what two nights in a cheap hotel not the end of the world, and also I don't want it to happen again, because <laughs> I'd rather spend that money on traveling and not replacing things that I left behind. But normally the system works really well and has worked really well for the last two or three years. I hope this was helpful. Maybe you could implement some parts of what I do into your road trips. Come, come get your stuff, you can eat while I'm doing this.